dress. Be out of that dress when she be Episode 44. Episode 44. The there are no, real 44. There are no gay Mexicans. Where are the gay Mexicans, dude? Nobody knows, dude. I don't think they exist. All the gay Mexicans were taken to outer space, and they returned, and now they're Asian. Do you think? That's exactly what happened. I don't think so. I See, I think they wander off into the woods, into the hills of fucking Chalupo, dude. I think the only time Mexicans do gay stuff is in full cowboy attire. <laughs> it's like, well, the only gay Mexican sex is, ju- is just Brokeback Mountain. Episode 44. <laughs> do you think, uh, is that what the Chupacabra is? Is actually just, <laughs> just, two just gay, one gay yeah. Mexican that's out there? It's two gay Mex- Mexicans <laughs> tussling in a tent. You just hear those spurs <laughs> rattling, dude. <laughs> Mexican... <laughs> Oh, these are Chupacabra. I think like the top or like the dude Mexican gets to wear all black and the fucking girlish like bottom Mexican has to wear like an all white cowboy outfit, dude. <laughs> it's a Chupacabra again. He dude. fucked many men here. Thinking about like Mexican men like in the 1800s sneaking into the woods and having gay sex and cowboy outfits. Dude, it might be just my like favorite a, thing a ever. Short, squat, chubby Mexican. <laughs> See, <laughs> si, I'm gay. See, si, Ramon is very pretty. He is muy guapo. Hey. Plus, too, I'm sure after they have gay sex, they knife fight, and whoever like you survives, you have to stab the person. That's why there's to death. no gay gay Mexicans. They killed each other. Yeah, they've all. There's only one. It's the chupacabra. <laughs> it's the Whoever one. the chupacabra is, it's like fucking. It's like old, it's like old maid. <laughs> like there's just one dude. No, it's Highlander. It is Highlander. They he goes around. Every gay Mexican dude in history, they had sex in the woods wearing, you know, whatever cowboy outfit was appropriate. And then it was a knife fight to the death. And then, yeah. One walked away. Yep. And then notched his fucking holster, his leather belt. Yep. It's fucking. It's all the, du- all the Be- fucking dudes. Very guapo. Bente cinco. He is very guapo, chupacabra. <laughs> he come, he fuck many men. Very <laughs> handsome man. Dude, think of those boys in the back of that truck. What? The fucking lads, dude, riding around, ready for the next gig, ready for the next leaf blown gig. Yeah. All eyeing each other up. Just like, which one of you guys is the Chupa? Oh, because there's which someone, one there is you one could that be walks. the Chupacabra? Damn, who's just fucking up all the gay dudes? All those Sex guys. Him. All those guys in their fucking tap out and affliction <laughs> and Ed Hardy t shirts just eyeing each other up. Just like, who's the Chupacabra? The Chupacabra, he could be here. Today, in our own Toyota, he's probably out. You're out, you're probably absolutely powerless against his seduction too. Oh, can you imagine a gay chubby Mexican? Oh my god, approaching you, dude. Yeah, just walking up to you at a Seven Eleven, just. Well, you wouldn't even see him hey. before you knew what happened. You'd have his dick. You have your he dick in his you. mouth. He would get you. Your dick would be in his mouth before you knew what happened. He'd be like, oh god, Jesus Christ! He'd just be <laughs> fucking carry you right. And then, the and then that's exactly what happened because then, like, the authorities would show up and be like, "What happened?" He'd be like, "I don't know." I think it was a chupacabra. <laughs> They'd be like, there's no such thing. You'd be like, well, that was probably it. I didn't. Uh, some, I definitely did not get raped. Some guy just sucked my dick for five minutes and stabbed me in the leg. I don't know what that is. <laughs> dude, those he boys. scurried back off into the woods. He's right back into the in desert. There, just... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? Some fucking tiny Mexican just came out and sucked our dicks, dude. <laughs> then he ran away. He stabbed us. us. He cut my leg, dude. This tiny Mexican sucked our dicks and called us gay and ran back into the desert, dude. <laughs> he scurried off like a gay chupacabra does, dude. God, dude, you gotta be careful for that. Is that what you think Sasquatch is? He's out in Chechnya. Every fucking supernatural thing can be explained by you just think... its gay dudes sucking dicks. That's true. What if the ch- yeah, Sasquatch? I think Sasquatch is... Splitting cheeks, dude. You think he's butt fucking? Yeah, Sasquatch is coming down. You think that's down. just a gay dude out in the woods who fucks guys, and then they're like, Everyone "Oh, has, it was a, a Sasquatch that attacked us." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was like eight feet tall, five hundred pounds. He was huge. There, there was nothing we could do. He destroyed our tent and my ass, <laughs> and then he ran back into the woods, dude. He made uh, David jerk off. <laughs> David. <laughs> he tricked him with his Sasquatch magic, and David <laughs> jerked off to Sasquatch raped us. Well, it's funny because apparently um, a lot of, well, I could say one for sure, there's Ridley Creek State Park. A lot of times, like, that's a, a hotbed for gay activity. Yeah, I'm like, telling wooded you. wooded areas, you, you sneak back, dude. Seclusion. Maybe you're hanging out with your buddies. Maybe a Sam Squatch comes out of the woods <laughs> Sam and gets you, dude. Some guy comes out. He's all fucking burly. That is funny to think about, dude. If like you think you're walking in the woods, just having a peaceful time, dude. There could be dudes in there waiting. It could be a Sasquatch like, behind any tree. You could go get gay sex. People That's get, how people get raped in parks all the time. 
You think so? Yeah, for sure. Central Park. Dudes get raped yeah, constantly. Everybody gets raped in parks. And then when you report it to the authorities, if you're a man, you're like, oh, that was something supernatural. Snake bit me. There's no way a man could have subdued me. <laughs> there was some sort of supernatural beast. Snake bit me. <laughs> Woo! 44, snake, dude. Oh, dude, 44 is off to what a fucking about running 44? start. I like it. We're back, That's dude. a sick theory. Any, yeah, Area 51. Yeah. Bunch of fucking lads pulled up in a truck Just into the desert. But fuck the president. Hopped He's out. Like aliens. Yeah, hopped out, sucked the sheriff's dick. He was like, oh, <laughs> it was a crash here. That'd be sick if that. It if was you aliens. Could, if you could play, if like they finally solved the end of X-Files and that's how they explained it. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> it's just been gay Mexicans. Sucking everyone's dick. There's just dick. like the six of them hiding, dude, and ruining everything. <laughs> six gay Mexicans throughout the world, dude. Just hiding. That's why they built the Great Wall. Well, Great Wall where? In China? In China to keep them out. You think they traveled Yeah, they that traveled far? the whole way and they were trying to get in. Damn. That's why we need to build one. That's what Trump wants. You think he's That's the getting... actual conspiracy behind it is Trump's trying to keep out the gay chupacabra. <laughs> what do you think Trump's working with? What do you D- mean? Like D-Y's. His dick? Yeah. Trump's got a fat dick. You think dude. he's got a hog? I think he's got a fat. He's weird. Polish, right? Nah. I think he's non-racial. He is no. He's. I think a, he's just white. I think he, his parents come from nowhere. He he was sent down from the heavens to prevent the gay <laughs> chupacabra, dude. That was his one mission. He's just white. He is from outer space. I can see that. He landed here. Everything else has been a facade. About he has what? one mission: to block the chupacabra. To he, block the gay Mexican chupacabra. He has to dude. fight him, dude, and knife him. He's got no shot. You don't think so? No, that's why he's that trying guy, to... That guy's about... The, J, the, the Chupacabra is about 400 years old. He can't be stopped. No. Nah. He lives off the cum of gay Mexicans. <sighs> that's powerful stuff, dude. That'll fucking you juice you You want to talk up. about the witches, bro? Yep. That's like Eye of Newt times 10. <laughs> <laughs> 44 is hot. <laughs> dude. What's been going on? I uh, I found a new hobby. What? It's uh, checking the Upper Allen... Where I'm from, the Upper Allen Police Township. Uh-huh. They release... The arrest records every day, which is kind of fucked up. So, like, if you get arrested, let's say you got a DUI. Okay. Before it's even proven that you're guilty, your face is up on the website, and it's, it's Matt McCusker was arrested for DUI. And, you're, oh, and your yeah, mug fuck. shot's up. Like, say you just took a bad medication the and had a bad reaction. The police report is so fucking funny. When they talk the shit? The Mechanicsburg police report, if you go through it, it's, first off, it's the same fucking kid every week. Really? There's one kid, Shane... Like his name's Shane. <laughs> no, his name it's like Shane Royce. You just get a DUI every weekend when you go home. And he's been getting terroristic it. threats. He keeps really? getting arrested for saying he's going to choke his girlfriend for the last like six months. It's so funny. What there's a they, what do they do for that? There's a Mechanicsburg Most Wanted. It's all people that got like DUIs and left town. It's so funny, dude. You got to see their faces too. They're all methed out. Every single, oh, yeah. per- every single person that gets arrested in Mechanicsburg is methed out or black. <laughs> and there's no black people in Mechanicsburg. Every, like, if you're black in Mechanicsburg, you are ending up on that fucking police website. They're going to get you? They're going to get you for something. Think they're going around looking for suspicious characters? It's like, we smelled weed in his car, so we arrested him. My compañero, Jorge. <laughs> Very guapo. Dude, those spurs jingling, dude. Oh. Whew. Sound like fucking Rudolph in the sleigh. You know what I mean? Those sleigh bells yep. just jingling. It's, it's actually two Mexican men's spurs <laughs> jingling back and forth. Just fucking, fucking. Just those fucking mustaches. Nobody ever talks about gay Mexicans. I'm, dude, I'm telling never. you, man. You never see them. That's, yeah. The cartels get to them. You think? Yeah, they trade them. Uh, they capture they capture them and that's that's what everybody thinks is birds. It's cockfighting down there is actually it's fucking gay they guys. wrestle their gays. The Zetas <laughs> versus the fucking I don't know. That's the only Mexican the fucking yeah. Juarez. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the one from Ozark. Zeta, where that's from Juarez. I don't know. Whatever. There's, There's a Monterey. Boys. I don't. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I've asked about that, and you just never fucking ever hear. That's about what cockfighting it. is. They set two little chubby Mexicans in a cage, and like whoever comes first. They just fucking it's speed jerk. Well, they the only way it can come is through the other one's butt. So it's just, hold on. How's that work? You got to get into the other guy's butt. Uh, Whoever plants their seed wins. 
Uh, oh, so they make their gay people rape each other in a cage. <laughs> and I got it. <laughs> okay. Well, when you put it that way, it's not that funny. <laughs> I just shot your little bunny out of the sky, yeah, dude. dude. All those little Mexican... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I got your joke. You're talking about that was late. That was funny. Mexicans raping each other. It's like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that was my joke. I was trying to do the fine dance of language that is comedy. I was talking about that fucking sick bull, Mike Myers, tonight. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, there's a there's a retarded guy that we grew up with, <laughs> and uh, and it's because this is this dude. is this is a very common phrase. Can you stop idea. and give homage to his name, Mike Myers? I know. Dude. First of all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I said it tonight. I was like, talk about a fucking red flag, dude. Ree, ree. Watch out for Michael Myers, the retarded guy who hangs out at the high school games. But uh, <laughs> this is like before I was in high school. I was just there because my older siblings played. Or uh. like, I would go watch the football games. There was always a retarded guy named Michael Myers who would go to every game, and he would. He would keep his distance, but he would talk to the young kids. Okay, you know what I mean. Like he was kind of playful. Well, and that's a that's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, in exactly. The truest sense. Exactly. He's just a damaged fucking. Because you don't man. want to be like, get away from him, Shane. Well, yeah, but we were kids, and he had the mind of a kid, so we would fucking like talk to him and fuck with him, and like. How you do you know, think he found out about the basketball games? I think he lived near my high school. I mean, dude, think about, imagine if you were a retarded person and you lived near high school, you're just chilling, you know. Yeah. All of a sudden you got a season and a team to follow? Well, it's, it's not even sick. that. Not even that. Imagine if you're just chilling, you're, you're retarded, and then, <laughs> like, like, literally, put yourself in that mentality. Yeah. And then one day you're just walking around, you're taking your walk, and then you just walk into a gymnasium full of people and yeah. they're playing a game. You'd be like, this, and there's a concession stand. This is the best. <laughs> 50 cent M&Ms, and you're like, holy fuck. Like, that must be mind-boggling. Yeah. It must be like going to the Emmys. Just cheerleaders. Ooh. And also, you're retarded, so you're not really worried about uh, statutory rape. You're seeing those cheerleaders, and you're like, that's the most beautiful girl in the whole world. <laughs> it's, it must be Shit. like going to a high school. <laughs> Jesus, I'm not doing well. <laughs> well, it must be like, like Great Gatsby at his party. When you're like a retarded person, like a JV girls basketball game, you probably walk in, it's like, dun, 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 dun. you're like, this is all for me. Dude, oh, for sure. The he moms the are giving you fucking hot dogs. Everybody's help. Everybody's your friend. Everybody's, they're like, hey, let him go out on the court at <laughs> halftime and try to shoot. At half. Oh, my God. He did God. that before. He tried to shoot a half-court shot. Dude, uh, but Frankfurter's my, on the house. My favorite Michael Myers memory was one time, because Trinity, my high school... <laughs> Michael Myers, dude. He, somebody, they, the way they would play the national anthem before games is they just had a fucking tape recorder that you would just press play yeah. on and it would play like a shitty version of the national anthem. <laughs> For some reason, the tape recorder wasn't working. And this is like a, a entirely empty gym. It's like a girl's basketball game. Mm. And Michael Myers is just standing at the top of the stands. And he just started belting out, singing the national anthem. He probably stomped the table. And no one stopped. Of course, no not. one was like, "This is weird." Everyone was just like, "All right, this is our national anthem now." Just retarded Mike Myers up in the top of the stands. Well, that's in the Constitution. If a retarded person if, sings, if ye old retarded person of the village yep. starts singing the national anthem, you got to put Even your hat. Kaepernick would fucking stand up, dude. He'd be like, "That's that's powerful." That's America, right yeah, there. Fuck yeah. Anyway, that would um, be a funny. That would be a good way around. If, if so, if they really wanted him to like not oh, kneel. Yeah. They just start bringing out the Michael Myers, is dude. Yeah, like, you're really gonna kneel right yep. now, bro. Bring out a black Michael Myers. Whew. Have him try to sing. Just bring out Beetlejuice, dude. Bring out Beetlejuice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching Beetlejuice highlights every night for the last two weeks. Uh, so anyway, Michael Myers. One time though, this is I. I think I was in like eighth grade or ninth grade. Yeah. I think it was eighth grade. I was, I was like starting to figure out what the fuck was going on. Like this guy, something's wrong. Yeah. Because this was still like early in a, like if you're a retarded old guy in town, no one cared. No one was like trying to like when he was young, no one tried to help him. You know what I mean? Like he was a retarded guy in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. In like 1980. True. Like there was not a strong special ed class. Everyone was just like. That's Mike. He's fucking dumb. Yeah, you got... Yeah, yeah. And then he grew up, didn't have a job. They were just like... He lives with his parents. Yeah, that makes sense. He's fucked up. Uh, and then <laughs> he tried to tell us to come out to his car. He was like, you guys want to come out to my car? And we were like... He ah. drove? 
I, I think he was just trying to rape us, but <laughs> he was definitely trying to fuck us. He was like, you guys come out to my car. I got to be, and I remember he was like, I got a bunch of Nerf footballs out in my car. And it was like, I don't know, Mike, I think I shouldn't do that. And he was like, like, a fun car. He was like, oh, come on, dude, come out. He, he wasn't like, he was fucked up, but he wasn't full retard. Like he was, well, he, he was still, cunning enough to set that good he still that was Nerf trap for you guys. trying to persuade us with some Nerf. <laughs> He's like, come on, I have tons of nerve out in the car. Come on, guys. And he thought we were, I think he thought we were younger than we were. He could have got us. What? He might have fucked some kids. He, Dude, I mean, with that approach, that's a strong that's a fucking, fucking pitch. Dude, if I, was a, if I was a fifth grader and he was I mean, hitting me with talking, that nerf. like nerf guns, He's nerf talking balls. whistlers, dude. He's talking, Ooh, you can the launch vortex, that ball. That's the vortex. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Instead, he's going to launch a fucking whistler into your butt, dude. dude. A weird, retarded amount of cum going into your fucking <laughs> This mouth. might be the worst thing I think we've ever right, discussed. So, no, 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 no. I'm not done. My thing is that imagine the moment of regret when he gets those claws on you, dude. You're 11 years old. Fucking old Mike Myers, dude, has you by the Subaru hatchback. There's not a nerf in sight, and he just overpowers you. You're like, Mike, Mike, go down there. Mike. <laughs> Oh my god damn it. Fuck. You know like the summer when you just got, like start smelling the grass, you're like smelling the grass and like the rain dawn like dirt and you're just like that's all you remember is Mike Myers dude just ripping off your leaves and like, getting you. Oh man. <laughs> and ironically in the distance someone throws a vortex whistle yeah, dude. Like, you hear <laughs> that's all you hear. I heard about this guy. I knew a guy, I worked with a guy. Who he was like a drug addict, but he used to go. He was like telling me how he used to go to this guy's <laughs> house in Upper Darby, and this guy would take pictures of you in your underwear. And he would be like, "Dude, it's fifty bucks." And he'd be like, "I never did it." I'm like, "You definitely did it." Dude, my dad, my dad got <laughs> fucked up and told us a story like that. Oh no! And he had a buddy. He had a buddy that kept coming back with like because they had a weird guy in their neighborhood uh-huh. who would do something eerily similar to taking pictures with you. I forget what it was. I think it was you had to let him touch your dick. What? I think it was full on like if if he if you let him touch your dick, he'll give you stuff. And Fair they trade. had one friend that was like totally unfazed by the sexual assault and just kept showing up with like new shit and cool <laughs> shit. They're like, "What are you doing, dude?" He's like, "This guy he keeps fucking buying me shit." And they're like, "Don't you have to let him touch your dick?" He's like, "Yeah, who gives a fuck?" Dude? Oh my just god! Just some dark guy's grabbed my dick. <laughs> I mean, and dude. they just let it go. Wow. Anyway, anyway, uh, that's Mike fucking... Myers. Mike Myers' origin story. This is my that's favorite. That's his thing. dad, dude. Michael Myers' dad. Yeah, yeah the probably. guy who was painting, grabbing that, dicks. That was from less than three miles from that high school. He's probably paying like thirty-five cents a bird grab. He was probably giving you. A, he was giving you like a Snickers bar for one bird grab, and like if if you're a kid who's totally unfazed by that, that's a fucking deal. Yeah, it's a steal. It's like actually. just some fucking retarded guy grabs your bird for a second. He might yank hard though. Who cares? That might hurt. When you're a young boy. You can you can take some damage down there. That's true. You can get hit in the nuts. And be Actually, like, you, that's nothing. You probably grow a little too if you got a you got a guy. You He's gotta, getting you gotta, joked you by a retarded guy. He's getting joked by a retarded guy. Get a Gen bay. One Mike Myers pulling you out, dude. <laughs> yeah, he probably gained at least an extra inch. Yep. Wow. It, what's really funny is that guy definitely got older and was like, Jesus, fuck, what was I doing? <laughs> like, well, yeah, he's the probably, kid that was letting that old guy fucking touch his dick. He he grew up and was just like, whoa. I mean, dude, Woe was right. He probably has weird sexual shit now that he's like, like if yeah, he. Like, where did this come from? Like, imagine if he had a, like his kid volunteer to the Special Olympics and he went there and was just raging the whole time, just oh. a full fucking hard oh. on. Speaking of uh, funny stories of my one uncle, uh, when he was in summer camp, yeah, he the counselor was like, "All right, everybody, let's play a game," and they he was like, "The game is, it's like put mustard on the wiener." <laughs> or like roast the weenie or something like that. Something about a hot dog. Uh-huh. But it was it was my uncle's dick. And it was like, we got to put mustard on his dick. Wait. Like a string of mustard, a line of mustard needs to be on his dick. Oh, time out. This counselor was a fucking perv. And, and he put his dick into a hot dog bun? No. And he was saying my uncle's dick needed to get the mustard on it. So like the game was we got to catch him and tackle him and put mustard on his dick. And my uncle said he remembers like running through the woods and like all his friends chasing him. <laughs> what? Yeah, seriously. That's a guy from Nebraska in like the fucking sixties. <laughs> Who was trying to put mustard on his dick? The counselor. All right, so there's one kid. Yeah. The victim. Yeah, okay. The victim. Right. 
And the pervert was like, hey, kids, the let's counselor. all play a game. Yes. So let's say he has 15 Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts. <sighs> She's Jesus. like, hey, we're all going to chase, I almost said his name, and yeah. put mustard on his dick. That's the game. And the kids went after him. And the kids it. joined. His friends were like, this is a fun game. There's nothing weird about this. But oh. he was like, I remember being like, this is fucked up. This is wrong. Did he get mustard on his no, dick? No, he ran. He got away? He ran, yeah. What do you run, home? Yeah. Dude, he was, he was Forrest Gump. He played football in Nebraska, survived the World Trade Center. <laughs> what the fuck did animal. they do? Did his parents go to the camp? I don't think anyone cared. I think back then it was like, Again, it was like that, camp, that, that camp's that weird. weird. Anyway, so I haven't gotten to the Michael Myers origin story. <laughs> 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 so the reason why everyone was like, Michael Myers is retarded... And you gotta just let him go. He's just a retarded guy. Let him go. It was because the the idea was that he got in a car accident and his mom was the driver, and her head got cut off and landed on his lap, <laughs> and he went retarded from that. And everyone was just everyone believed it. So he was basically like Hodor. He got his yeah. Mom, the one his day he just like cut off he just he got was, cursed and was like yeah. Hodor. Yeah. He was like Nerf. Ball. Nerf. <laughs> Nerf. <laughs> He's just trying to fuck kids. But it, it's just, I never thought about it until tonight when I was talking about it. And it was like, Jesus Christ. I, I, think, I think parents were on that. I think like the community agreed the reason he was retarded was a head fell onto his lap and he, he got retarded. I mean, that's a better story than if... He just was a retarded kid who watched his mom get decapitated. <laughs> he was retarded the whole time. I think he was retarded but the whole what time. What if his mom did get decapitated? I, I, she might have gotten decapitated. And he was a retarded kid who caught his mother's head. And was like... No. <laughs> oh my god. That, it doesn't get worse he than that. He tried to put it back on. Oh god. So you'll be better. No, no. Oh, this isn't funny, dude. This is the, 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 the people are going to stop listening to the cast. All right, actually, well, 